You're watching Republic. From the Republic Media Network headquarters, it's time for Arnab Goswami on the debate. Arnab Goswami on the debate. And ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow is the day of the election results in Jharkhand and in Maharashtra and by-elections in several other parts of the country, including some fairly politically critical by-elections in the state of Uttar Pradesh, where nine assemblies are going and we'll know the results tomorrow whether Yogi has the edge or doesn't have the edge. Now, of course, one thing which cannot be denied before any such election is that these are mood-setting elections. Jharkhand and Madhya Pradesh, Jharkhand and Maharashtra, I'm sorry, along with Uttar Pradesh, a significant chunk of important seats in terms of them being bellwether will give us another sense of the political mood in the country. From the beginning of the year till now, that has been the constant pursuit of political analysts. Which way is the wind blowing? After the Bharat Jodo Yatra, there was an attempt to create a narrative in 2023 that the wind was blowing in the Congress party's direction. This continued to go even on the day of the results when the Congress lost considerably Getting just 98, 99 seats, still the argument was that never mind if the Congress won badly. The fact is they didn't win as badly as they did the last time, so the wind is not with the BJP. But I believe then and I believe now that if you study the BJP's result, it was localized due to factors that go beyond normal politics. It could do with inner party politics, especially the states of Rajasthan and with Uttar Pradesh. So I always said, this is not a test of the way things are to go. And there was a sympathy factor for the MVA alliance. And there was an anti-factor because of Ajit Pawar coming in, in Maharashtra. So three big states, Rajasthan, Maharashtra and Uttar Pradesh did not go as planned for the BJP. But I still said in June that this is not a verdict against Modi in any way. In fact, my understanding showed that Modi continued to be by far the most popular leader. So there was something on the ground that was not going with the BJP. It could have something to do with the RSS-BJP equation or the feeling that the Sangh got that the BJP did not want its support. But this time, and in Haryana, the RSS and BJP have worked very closely together. A. The Prime Minister has not pulled back from campaigning. In fact, the Prime Minister has worked harder in Haryana and even harder this time in the states of Jharkhand and Maharashtra. Just look at the number of rallies he did before he went on his recent foreign trip. He's really, really pushed the envelope in terms of his campaigning, including on the campaign trail, on the ground, road shows, everything, the works. Now, viewers, I believe that tomorrow is the litmus test and it will give us a big sense of the way the mood is. And here's my reading of the situation. Please consider that this time both the states of Maharashtra and Jharkhand have seen record numbers of voting. What does this mean? This is the highest voter turnout <coughs> since the 1995 elections. What happens when there is higher voting? When there is higher voting, historically, the BJP has had an edge. So if I were to go by voting patterns, both in Maharashtra and in Jharkhand, the BJP should do much better. When the voting percentage shoots up in Maharashtra, the BJP regains power. When the voting percentage goes down, the BJP loses. This time, this is the first time since 1995 that Maharashtra has recorded 65.01% of voting. So going by these numbers, we expect the BJP to sweep Maharashtra. Only statistically. Let's see if that happens tomorrow. You can catch me to account. Also, 
I think there's an interesting twist in Jharkhand that we don't yet know about. I'm not sticking my neck out on Jharkhand. But in terms of Maharashtra, for me, the verdict seems clear. Ladies and gentlemen, if the BJP wins both the states, then the BJP will be controlling more than 20 states in India. If the BJP wins Maharashtra, it becomes 21. If the BJP wins both Maharashtra and Jharkhand, this means that 22 states in India will be ruled directly by the BJP. This means three-fourths of all state governments will be ruled by the BJP. This will be yet another crushing setback for the Congress after Haryana and will be yet another addition to the BJP's kitty. Remember viewers, even if the alliance comes together in Jharkhand, it's a vote for the JMM in that case, not a vote for the Congress. So the Congress is becoming a party that is lesser and lesser at stake in important state elections and that tells you the story. Ladies and gentlemen, at 8 p.m. on the program tonight, the big debate on narrative. What happens to the narrative, depending on what happens tomorrow? That's my debate at 8 o'clock tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Then, at uh, 8.30 this evening, you have this controversy where the BJP says that Rahul Gandhi did not take a garland from a Dalit leader. Do they have enough facts to back that up? That is at 8.30 p.m. tonight, ladies and gentlemen, at 9 o'clock this evening, at 9 o'clock this evening, the issue of panic that is setting in in the MBA, because the MBA knows it's all or nothing in Maharashtra. So we're seeing resort politics, offers being made, but the results are not yet out. The more panic, I believe it's a sign of weakness. I believe the MBA is looking weak in Maharashtra. Let's see the way things go and here are the headlines. This Friday evening, pre-election night on the debate tonight. Just hours ahead of the Maharashtra verdict, the Mahavika Sakhadi seems to be in complete panic mode. Top sources are telling Republic they have asked MLAs to stay put in certain resorts. BJP tweets a video of Rahul Gandhi claims that he has insulted a Dalit leader as the video shows. Congress leader Rahul Gandhi specifically refuses a garland that was offered to him by his party's Dalit leader. And stand by as we build up to the result day tomorrow. India's biggest and most trusted election news team gets you the fastest results tomorrow morning, 6 o'clock onwards. And the stage is set for the decisive verdict in Maharashtra and Jharkhand. As hectic parlays intensify across camps, the stakes couldn't be higher. From calls for Hindu unity to allegations of resort politics, the battle lines are clearly drawn. Let's debate. Maharashtra and Jharkhand elections. The final battles of the mega election year 2024. With hours to go for the Jharkhand and Maharashtra verdict, Hectic parlays are on within leadership of all parties and alliances. We are given to understand that depending on the numbers uh, that come into the BJP kitty, a decision would likely be taken as to whether at all they are going to throw their hat in the ring as far as the Chief Minister's position is concerned. In Maharashtra, a jittery Mahavika Sagari has expressed fears over horse trading ahead of the counting day. होटल पॉलिटिक्स अभी से शुरू हो गई है और देखने को भी मिल रही है सूत्रों के हवाले से खबर यही है कि अरेंजमेंट किए जा रहे हैं किसको कहां ठहराया जाएगा किसको कहां रोका जाएगा और किसको कैसे रोका जाएगा क्योंकि बात नंबर गेम्स की है और इस पूरे नंबर गेम को लेकर अभी से जद्दोजहद शुरू होती हुई दिखाई दे रही है हमने तो कुछ ऐसा किया नहीं है कुछ लोग ऐसे रास्ता करते हैं क्योंकि जो नया आता है तो उनको कहां जाने का तो कुछ लोग करते होंगे रास्ता मुझे मालूम नहीं Parallelly, an all-out war seems to be brewing over the chief ministerial face in both camps. हाँ निचित रूप से जो जहाँ जहाँ से हमें खबरें आ रही हैं पूरे महाराष्ट्र से तो यहाँ पर महाविकास आगाडी की सरकार बनने जा रही है और ये भी बात सच है कि सबसे बड़ी पार्टी के रूप में कांग्रेस पार्टी यहाँ उभर कर सामने आने के पूरे यहाँ पर बातें हो रही हैं। In Jharkhand, the BJP has shared plans of a tough crackdown on infiltration. 
भारतीय जनता पार्टी ये मानती है सरकार बनेगी तो एक एस गठित करके या एनआरसी करना पड़े तो वो भी किया जाएगा लेकिन हम यहाँ जो भी घुसपैठ हुआ है उनको चिन्हित करेंगे उसको पहचाना जाएगा और फिर उनको यहाँ से डिपोर्ट किया जाएगा कोई सरकार अपने दो कार्यकाल पूरे करने के बाद तीसरी बार वापस आई है From Batinge to Katinge, a call that has signaled a movement towards gaining Hindu unity. एक एक घुसपैठियों को चुन चुन कर निकालने का काम भारतीय जनता पार्टी करने का काम भारतीय जनता पार्टी करने का on infiltration national agenda items remained key in these elections bhajpa ki sarkar bana do aadmi to kya parinda bhi pair na mar paaye is tarah se ghuspet ko hum rok de aatankavad ho ya naxalwad aur barbad ho ya aatankavad in sab ki samasya ka samadhan bharatiya The aggregate of all exit polls display a clear trend for Maharashtra that the Mahayuti could be headed to win at least 162 seats with the Mahavikas Aghadi limiting itself to just 122 while in Jharkhand the polls of poll indicate a hung house with at least 3 polls giving a clear edge to the NDA the clarion call for hindu unity ulemas and the all india muslim personal law board endorsing the congress open war on infiltrators with only hours to go for the mega verdict who has won the battle of the battles for maharashtra and jharkhand all eyes are now on the mega verdict tomorrow nobody likes to commit a day before the result but my question is to aap and to uh, pankaj uh, you know you will have to concede and welcome radhika khera and abhishek sudhir you will i just in this part of the debate i just want an acceptance that tomorrow's election will reflect the national mood that's all tomorrow's election result will reflect the national mood i say it will it will what do you say pankaj what do you say i think i think it will reflect the national mood the national mood in maharashtra is in favor of uh, vikas patel it is it is you know it is leading see initially it was sweeping mpa was sweeping initially now yes there is a fight but vikas agari is ahead of uh, so but if it, oh, it you will, will concede tomorrow that maha vikas agari does not win and the yes. bjp manages to retain maharashtra one of the largest and most influential states in the country then the bjp clearly is in pole position nationally pankaj and it will get a significant head start before the delhi election uh, uh anmol anmol okay i think many lines are frozen there i'll get them back radhika what do you think before i get them back <laughs> absolutely it's going to be the mood of the nation and we've seen a trailer of that with the haryana results the mood of the nation is clear yes there was a little setback that we suffered during the lok sabha elections because the false narrative had been built and maharashtra has been waiting and uh, maharashtra has been waiting to vote in the vidhan sabha because what they were being currently uh, you know for the first two years they were ruled by a chori ki sarkar there was a master of all chiefs ali baba ke chalis chor jaise ek chor the jinhone chori ki sarkar bana ke mukhyamantri bane hue the and it was an emergency like situation 
uh, senior journalists like you, we saw what you went through. It was worse than what emergency was, an undeclared emergency. During Corona, when the entire world was together, we saw that Mr. Thakre, who was the chief minister then, was unavailable for the public as well as his own ministers. And such a chief minister who did not even know his own ministers are not in the state and have left, his own MLAs have left. So we've seen the condition of the chief minister and the government. Last two years, uh, two years and about a hundred odd days, they actually had the government that they elected. The original Shiv Sena along with the Bharatiya Janata Party, which was the mandate that was given by the state of Maharashtra. And we saw how Maharashtra started uh, its journey back on the road of development, which it had gone back in the last two, in the first two years. So people want to go stay on the same track. They made them. They have realized that they were. Uh, you know, uh, made to believe that Samvidhan khatre mein hai, Musalman khatre mein hai, Kisan khatre mein hai. But in reality, nothing like that was happening. And like I said, Haryana was a trailer of that, exactly of that. And now we're going to see a complete stack see, with the results of I Maharashtra. See, I, see, I see the AAP spokesperson the even, even more election. nervous than the Congress today. And presumably, because if you are going to fight the BJP, if the BJP wins Haryana and wins Maharashtra, you know, then it all has a domino effect. Then the BJP will come in in this victorious frame of mind in Delhi. But where, where, were, where was the BJP in 2015? Where was the BJP in 2020? They got... An yeah, but you also have now 10 years of anti-incumbency behind stage. you. No, there's pro-incumbency, Arnabji, not anti-incumbency. With the kind of work which we have done in the past 10 years, with the kind of calm uh, ki rajniti, the Arvind Kejriwal model of governance which we have presented to the whole country, which is uh, appreciated not just in India, but uh, even abroad. So we are pretty confident that the people of Delhi will again uh, give a decisive mandate in favor of Aam Aadmi Party. And uh, no, I, in I, fact, I, it is for the it is for the BJP it is for the BJP to work hard so that at least they get a single MLA this time. Okay, I'm not going to Delhi right now, but please, viewers, as I take Abhishek's response, why is tomorrow important? And I will be with you through the day tomorrow. It is important yeah. because it is the test case tomorrow of the openly pro-Hindu politics of the BJP, where the BJP says, "Ek rehenge to safe rehenge." This is a reference to Hindus. The Hindus are united. If the call for Hindu political reunification works, tomorrow's results will have a huge impact on national politics. Abhishek, what's your reading of the national picture? Well, Maharashtra is an extremely crucial state, one of the largest states, you know, in terms of the uh, economic, it's an economic superpower in India. Look, at the end of the day, the word defeat is not in the BJP's dictionary. The BJP may lose a battle or two here and there, but they always end up winning the war. So no matter what the result tomorrow, rest assured, the BJP come Monday morning is going to gear up for Delhi. Basically, so the word defeat is not in the BJP's dictionary. Their eye is always on the big prize. Their eye is always on winning the war. You look at Prime Minister Modi campaigning in Maharashtra ends. He's in Guyana. He's in Nigeria, right? The man never stops working. He's a 24 by 7 leader, basically. Tomorrow, no matter what the result, and I can tell you, if the MVA pulls off an upset, there will be absolute chaos in that alliance as to who will be the chief minister. If the Mahayuti wins, which is what all the polls are predicting and what I think will also happen, you will see a swift resolution to any issues as to who will be chief minister and what have you. At the end of the day, the BJP is a professional machine. The BJP is a professional outfit. There is an ideology. There is a well, base. One, it, they know what people are... Uh, one point which I am not clear about, however. Yeah. Radhika Khera said that this is the real alliance which was ruling Maharashtra, the original alliance which was elected. Right? Her reference is to the fact that Shiv Sena ditched BJP after the last results. Okay? Now, in that case, Radhika, why is the BJP's Chandrakant Patil appearing to be open to Uddhav? Uddhav has not had anything in common with you. You have said these anti-Hindu vote, but today there was a comment which seemed to be leaving the door open to Uddhav. Is that only to have a negotiating lever vis-a-vis -vis Eknath Shinde? Or is it serious? Because if it's serious, your national uh, voter will be devastated. If BJP and Uddhav Sena come together, then once again, this would be something that will be unacceptable for your core ideological voter. 
So why was that comment made and what does that reflect on the national picture? Um, Radhika Khera, please. Arnab, I say this with utmost responsibility today. After tomorrow's elections result, Uddhav Thakre Shiv Sena, the so-called Shiv Sena, will cease to exist. Because as he has claimed, and he rightly is the son of uh, Bala Sahib Thakre Ji, but he has not uh, followed the footsteps of his own father. He has not followed his father's ideology. If you remember, Bala Sahib Thakre Ji had said, and everybody knows this, I quote him, that I will Shiv Sena ko kabhi Congress nahi hone dunga. I will shut shop. And he was very clear about his ideology and what his idea of Hindus and Muslims and Hindutva and Ram Mandir were. But we've seen a completely complete U-turn by his son. And the people of Maharashtra have voted with this in mind ki jo apne pita ka nahi hua wo hamara kya hoga. So this is going to be the end and actually the shop of Shiv Sena of Uddhav Thakre is going to come to an end. So the point of him joining us or not joining us will not happen when he will cease to exist that party will end. His own son is on going to lose. We all know that. You know the ground report coming from there. Uh, Milind Yoraji is going to win over there. So it's a very clear victory that we are going to have and after that if he wants to if he realizes his mistake and he realizes that he has gone against and he apologizes to the people of Maharashtra I'm sure we can forgive him we are human after all you can forgive him he has recently I mean, joined if he apologizes to the people so of you, Maharashtra you will, you will even you will, you will even to tomorrow every, forgive uh, you will forgive Anil Deshmukh you will forgive uh, Sachin Vaze no, you will forgive forget. Parambir Singh we may forgive but we will never forget Parambir Singh Sachin Vaze also you will forget forgive we will never forget until I bomb the people who did it in that time in the sense see if he huh? absolutely not like I said he will cease the party will cease to exist so the question of him joining us will not happen but I'm talking about him uh, uh, seeking forgiveness from the people of Maharashtra from going against the ideology of his own father. That is all. But we are very clear that we are going to go ahead and form the government with our Mahayupi okay. alliance now, and our house is in order and uh, our family is complete. Okay, I'd like a response to this. I personally believe the BJP will form the government if it gets anywhere close to 90 to 100 seats and emerges as the single largest party. And then it will have Eknat Shinde Sena, it will have the allies and that is the reason why the MBA is more nervous. That's why they're keeping their people in resorts and hotels and this will carry on tomorrow. I don't believe it's going to be hung. So I don't think all these resorts are going to lose their bookings. But, <laughs> but you know, the real issue is the Hindu vote consolidation in terms of national picture, Anmol. Your politics is based around freebies. What the BJP has done, and see in Maharashtra, there have been counter freebies offered. The SCST, OBC, Muslim, Ulema, politics, everything. If after this the BJP wins, it is only because of the openly pro Hindu line of both Eknath Shinde and BJP. So, it means the Hindu voter wants to first ask, are you a pro Hindu party or a middle of the pro party or some kind of fake neutral party or are you a negative party? The voter only votes for the pro-Hindu party. So, Hindu consciousness, political consciousness becomes very important. Anmol, this will not... Delhi also has Hindu population. Those Hindus will say, oh, if the Hindus come together, BJP wins. If the Hindus are divided, then BJP loses. Batenge to katenge, which means direct impact will happen in Delhi. And the BJP will continue to polarize on that. Arnab, uh, we have seen in the past that... You are saying pe people are not voting around Hindu lines? Hindu Being a Hindu is not a political factor in, Ma in Delhi? Can I respond, Arnab? See, you said that voters uh, uh, vote on uh, these particular lines. But yes. The fact, is, the fact is that voters vote for the ones who uh, work for the betterment of their lives. What have we witnessed in Delhi in past 10 years? that uh, there's a national party who got overwhelming majority in 2014 but when it comes to assembly election in 2015 they got only three seats in 2019 uh, at the center bjp got overwhelming majority 
but in 2020 assembly elections they were decimated to eight seats and why is it happening because in delhi there's a government who works for the people hum janta ke tax ke paise ko behtar suvidhaon ke madhyam se unhe wapas karte hain aur ye free bhi nahi hai jise hum free bhi kehte hain we must understand the concept of free bhi ye janta ki mehnat ki kamai ka paisa hai आज देश में आटे पे दाल पे दूध पे दही पे टैक्स लग रहा है वो गरीब आदमी जो मिनिमम वेज से भी कम कमाता है उसे भी टैक्स देना पड़ता है अगर उसके टैक्स के पैसे को उनके लिए बेहतर इलाज के रूप में उनके बच्चों के लिए विश्व स्तरीय शिक्षा के रूप में उन्हें 24 घंटे मुफ्त बिजली के रूप में पानी के रूप में अगर वापस दिया जाए no, no, तो कहा से है ये फ्रीवीज कहा अभिषेक इज यू आर यू आर कंसिडरेबली नर्वस टूडे बिकॉज यू सी व्यूअर्स वी हैव वेन वी डिस्कस नेशनल पिक्चर वी मस्ट से दैट इफ देर आर थ्री इलेक्शन देर इज अ हरियाणा इलेक्शन बीजेपी विन्स देन दर इज अ महाराष्ट्र झारखंड इलेक्शन इफ बीजेपी विन्स द मूड टूमोरो इट विल गो ऑल आउट टू द पावर ऑफ इन्फिनिटी इन डेली it will be a reinforced yeah. bjp and you will have 10 years of incumbency with you you can't deny the incumbency there be Can 10 years there's a and you, and you will be fighting congress also because your vote is split yeah right so be yeah, logical so here cool. today so abhishek you want to add in on that national quick picture quick ladies and gentlemen yeah. is impact on delhi as well yeah the, the referendum on arvind kejriwal's governance shows that it happened this week kailash gehlot the number 2 minister in the aam aadmi party government the architect of several welfare schemes and if you live in delhi ncr it was kailash gehlot's picture that was on all the delhi's delhi's buses along with arvind kejriwal's picture so kailash gehlot in many ways has been the face of aam aadmi party now you have kailash gehlot who has made a political calculation that arvind kejriwal cannot lead aam aadmi party to victory in the next delhi election Now, if the BJP wins Maharashtra as expected, and the days of Arvind Kejriwal in Delhi are. Then, in numbered. terms of campaigning, in, in terms of campaigning, Pankaj and uh, Pankaj and Anmol, in terms of campaigning, the Prime Minister will be a very, very considerable campaigner in Delhi. Yeah. Look at the he, amount he, of time he is given in Jharkhand. It becomes much easier logistically for the Prime Minister Arnab, to campaign in Delhi. Arnab, and it's a prestige Arnab, battle for him. Had, it's time and to and Prime India Minister, India. Prime Minister will go all out. the number of personal attacks on the prime minister by arvind kejriwal and your party personal attacks so pm yeah. and the whole party machinery will go all out in delhi this time you would be fighting your ex ally the indi alliance would have broken and if maharashtra goes with the bjp you enter on a disadvantage anmol please be Anmol. practical tonight you you and and then this you know you'll have to deal with the issues which emerge Muslim vote will not be with you. Entire Muslim vote will go to Congress. Congress. Yeah. Hindu vote will be consolidated with BJP. Arnab, uh, in 2015 and 2020, we saw how the chief ministers of different states ruled by BJP Radhika. were doing nukkar sabha. Vicharon ko don't go back into the past. Uh, living in the past. Changes. No, no. This, living in the past. This is. This is. <laughs> no this is what is going to happen in 2025 as well we will see that uh, aam aadmi party will again <laughs> come back in power because uh, we are confident Pankaj, uh, about abhishek abhishek modi Kailash factor Gailot. i want to spend Just, a little bit of time on the modi what, factor what happens we, to the modi factor have, now if if tomorrow MPs, goes for bjp what is the impact on narendra BJP modi MPs in delhi the impact is that the lok sabha mandate essentially and well, what the congress tried to the congress tried to spin the lok sabha mandate saying prime minister modi had no moral right to govern apparently when they've got 240 seats on their own and they've got 99 the party that gets 240 has no moral right to govern the victory in haryana the the comeback victory in haryana a victory in maharashtra a, a great victory in jharkhand if they managed to pull it off I think the whatever scars that were there from the 2024 mandate would be washed away, and then it's all out attack on Delhi. It's all out attack on Arvind Kejriwal, and Arvind Kejriwal's days are numbered. That and the Modi factor—it's a prestige battle for the Prime Minister. 
There has never been a Delhi government since there's been Prime Minister. They've been winning Lok Sabha elections 707070. Three Lok Sabha elections. He has managed to sweep the Amadmi party. And I think for him it's a personal battle and it's a battle he'll be invested in. He lives in Delhi. And I think he will feel it's about time as a BJP government in Delhi. That'll be the roll-on effect Pankaj, from Maharashtra. It'll be a huge morale boost. Pankaj, let me BJP. give you a let me give you a counter narrative to this situation, right? Uh, Four factors will be working for BJP if they win. Viewers, please remember, I am not ruling out the possibility of an upset. But let me say it openly, if the BJP loses Maharashtra, it will be a huge and unexpected upset tomorrow. And I am not saying on the basis of exit polls alone. I am saying this on the basis of ground reports we are receiving about the impact of the cash handouts, of the impact of Ladki Behan Yojana, the promised 30% reduction in power bills, the hike in the old pension, old age pension, the annual payout through the Kisan Samman Nidhi, monthly stipends for 10 lakh students, 15,000 honorarium and insurance for Anganwadi and Asha workers. The BJP has changed itself into a very frontally socially, well, socially welfareist party since the Lok Sabha elections because it's a practical party. There is no doubt about that. If the BJP has changed track, Anmol, Pankaj. It is understanding it has to win the elections first. Practical, so party who, practical party who does nothing for the common man, but only works for uh, the industrialist like Adani. No, see, this all you can, you can... You can, you can, you can who, 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 have, who has failed to fulfill constitutional this obligations... Adani thing is not working. States no, no, this no. Adani argument is not working. Not because your argument is, Congress argument is India does not need big industrialists. Every country needs big, big industrialists. No, you don't want Adani, Tata, Ambani. You don't want any big, big, big group. You, but our India cannot grow with cottage no industry is, alone. Our, our argument is that no one should be allowed to loot the country uh, to pay bribes to the tune of 2100 crores. Again, you are, believing, you are believing Again. what the American prosecutors are saying. And they were all in opposition rule states. They were all in opposition rule states. No. All the BJP spokespersons. Andhra Pradesh. Did you notice? Opposition rule states. Go speak to your Indian allies. All the BJP spokespersons were saying that there are only allegations. There's a difference between indictment and conviction. Yesterday, every BJP spokesperson was saying this. That there are only allegations. There are only allegations. तो तब क्या हुआ था भाई जब अरविंद केजरीवाल जी पे आरोप लगे थे उन पे भी कोई आरोप साबित नहीं हुआ तो क्या आपने उन्हें भी कल जो है नेशनल टेलीविजन पे क्लीन चिट दे दी तो मतलब बताइए कोई भी बात में मेरे ऑपोजिशन स्टेट्स कैन यू कंडेम वायसर सीपी टुडे तो नहीं बता रहा नो नॉट � बल्कि आई वुड से कि जिस तरह की प्रतिबद्धता जिस तरह की निष्ठा इन्होंने इसलिए छत्तीस बार 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 इसलिए Went on about Adani, Adani, you got 99 seats. It got 99 seats. How is it a factor? One minute. Is it not a factor? Pankaj, after the... Pankaj, I'm summarizing the debate on the national picture with just a question tonight. I am summarizing the picture on the national picture with one point tonight. And viewers, tomorrow will be a great day for political analysis. After the May elections and the June results, four things were said about the Modi government 3.0. And all four have been proven to be wrong. Let me tell you how things have turned in five months. One, it was said that this will be a very shaky coalition. Every day, Nitish Kumar will pull from one side, Naidu will pull from one side. It's not happening. In right. fact, I saw pictures of Nitish Kumar trying to touch the Prime Minister's feet last time he was in Patna. The relationship, uh, the relationship between Naidu and Prime Minister has, is fantastic. The NDA is very strong. So, one, number one issue. Number two issue, it was said, now after this setback, the next state elections are going to go against BJP. 
Next state elections are also not going against BJP. Number three point, it was said that the economy will slow down. Global factors will come into play. Economy is going strong, overperforming. Number four point, it was said that Trump will lose the elections. Kamala Harris will come in. And American pressure will build. Kamala Harris also lost. Trump is back in two months. Despite the scorched earth policy of the democratic government, Trump will come. You can't stop his coming. So everything, Radhika, overall everything is, seems to be going well for the BJP as of today. Upsets can happen. But the expectation was... Anup, the debt on the country is more than 225 lakh crores and you are saying that... The what are the foreign the reserves? Delhi. What are the well, foreign and reserves? And, and, even, and even, even the BJP ruled states, you look you look at Madhya Pradesh, more than 7 lakh look crores debt. debt. You look at Gujarat, more board. than 4 lakh crores debt. Delhi Jalbor was Uttar profitable Pradesh, more than when you came to power. Debt. The Delhi Jalbor was running in surplus is Delhi. Only government which is running in surplus is Delhi. You guys, why is it happening? Because they don't know governance. The the because they are using the country. Well. They will keep speaking. Because they only care about the uh, uh, industrialists. Uh, I'd That's like to say, they don't care about the common man of this country. The economy is very shaky. Oh, and you do, is it? Shall we talk about Shish Mahal and the five lakh toilets? Certainly we do. That is why that is why people reject Can your speak? negative politics talk and vote for Kam Ki Rajmiti. Radhika, Radhika is responding to Anmol. Radhika, please speak. Yes, please. Okay, um, first of all here we had the Aam Admi Party spokesperson talking about coming back to power again in Delhi. Well, uh, the Maharaj of the Shish Mahal was dethroned by the people of Delhi in the Lok Sabha elections itself when he went out and said, Agar aap chahate ho, mein jail wapis nahi jao, agar aap chahate ho, mein bahar raho, to Delhi mein saato ke saato seete mujhe jitana. What was the result? Zero out of seven for the Aam Admi Party in Delhi. So people of Delhi have seen through the drama of the AAP and Congress. Kabhi uh, Kejriwal is voting for the Congress, who is the corrupt Sonia Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi, mind you, by in the words of Arvind Kejriwal, were the most corrupt people in the country. But and yet, Arvind Kejriwal went Modi and voted Ajit himself Pawar for Rahul Gandhi's candidate. So was the most corrupt. Can I please complete? I did not speak in between. I was listening calmly to everyone. Have some decency and let me complete. Thoda, and when you talk about that the BJP is losing its mandate and everything, please don't interrupt log in between, sir. Log log please have the decency. This is why the people of India are not voting for you people. I do not believe in a shouting match. That is match. why you are getting very zero seats in Delhi. Let's keep it that way. Is we are it, all it are we are all educated people. We do not need to be, talk over each other. Please wait for your turn. But you now coming back least, to again and again we have been said that idhar ye kharab ho raha hai to bj please 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 speak in your turn enough now bhai bade naraz listen to the mandate of the people the people of india do not want to listen to you people they have rejected you outright in haryana and every state you have gone before elections after lok sabha kindly keep i'm sorry but i cannot name the shouting match i cannot behave like a judge uh, uh, i would like it. i waited calmly to speak please i hope i can anmol please hear her speak Thank you. See, this is when uh, this is the actual DNA of the India Alliance. They start over talking and they try to create chaos, which they did. At started at 4 a.m. when the entire uh, puppets came out, puppets of George Soros, in under the leadership of Rahul Gandhi came out, and they tried to create a fake narrative to put the country down. They always want to undermine the country, and what they still are not learning from their mistakes. Two Lok Sabha elections have gone, and the people of India are not buying it. Agar Bharatiya Janta Party ki wajah se, and explain it to them in Hindi. Agar English is not understood, agar aap kehte hai ki desh karze mein hai, log karze mein hai, naukri nahi hai, mehengai hai, har kuch hai, to kya desh ki janta bevakuf hai ki lagatar phir bhi Modi ji ko vote de rahi hai aur aapko vote nahi de rahi? Congress party, which is the most important party of the country, which is the most important senior party of the country, who is a parasite for every party in the, MVL, in the India Alliance, has been rejected again for a third time. You were rejected in Haryana. A record was created in Haryana. No government has come back three times in a row in Haryana. That is the real mandate of the people. They gave a thumping victory to the Bharatiya Janta Party because people realized that the fake narrative was coming. 
our reply the reply of the people was that this is what we really want we believe in the policies and the working of narendra modi ji have you seen the kind of laws and applauds that we are getting across the world tomorrow is a very key day But But we'll, we'll, uh, why, uh, why don't we catch up tomorrow same time? Param Mitra ki rishwat khori. Why don't we meet tomorrow same time? Just one one request from me, Anmol, to you, to Pankaj. Just make one promise. Don't mention EVM tomorrow. <laughs> just say, <laughs> don't mention can EVM. I, just I, just I, don't bring that in. <laughs> bring that in. Nobody. Okay, I thank you all. This has been a great debate, ladies and gentlemen. The other big.